We're almost in now, as we are good to go, Total Biscuit, as we are in the game. On Daybreak, as you can see, Zerg vs. Zerg. Liquid Jinro is friends with Lovesick, being former OGS member. And, of course, Jinro used to live with him, yep, yep. which is why he's lent him the account. But we'll see. Vime's got a pretty good Zerg vs. Zerg, to be honest. He actually does. He really, really does. It's pretty impressive to watch Vibe play. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well he does here. It should play pretty well, honestly. He's been knocked down to the lower bracket pretty early, which is unfortunate for him. And, of course, Lovesick is lurking down there, waiting. That's Probably right. Spawning pool from both sides on 14 supply here. 14 supply, uh, or 15 supply, then the, the drone come down. So 15 supply uh, spawning pulse for both players. Yep. So both opening up identical so far. Uh, this is kind of the... Uh, I mean, players do like to go hatchery first here, but this is... It basically gets you to the same place, but it's safer. So why wouldn't you want to get to the same place and safer? It's like, you know, you can ride a car at the same speed with or without a seatbelt, and this time they chose the seatbelt. It's a healthy option. And rightfully so. You know, I don't feel there's any benefit to not using the seatbelt. Yeah. I think that's a very important thing to do. It's not something that really harms you all that much, honestly. And uh, no, indeed, they do not kill more people than they save, so bear that in mind. And you know, going spawning pool first into hatch does also not kill more people than it saves either. So it's a sensible build opening for both these players that don't really have much experience against each other. There's no real reason that Vibe yeah. would have played against Lovesick all that much, and Lovesick is not very well known at this time at any rate, so both of them really trying to stay as safe as they can, and then we'll see the differentiations in the build later on. Now, I don't have much experience with Lovesick CVZ, but I do know that Vibe has a particularly potent ability in this particular matchup. Yeah, he's very good, actually. Uh, very good. He's had a lot of experience playing within the WCS, which is the tournament that really brought him to the top of uh, of the scene, really, especially in North America. This is, by the way, the loser bracket round two. Vibe initially started off against the STC, did fall down 0-2, unfortunately, but did beat Glon 2-0 in the lower bracket round one. Lovesick, on the other hand, did have a walkover initially versus Bly, who couldn't attend, unfortunately, due to sickness. Yeah, quite a few of the IEM guys actually came yeah. down with sickness there, unfortunately. But uh, he then went on to play Innovation, GSL Top 4, uh, a.k.a. Bogus. Yep. And did fall down, Lovesick did fall 0-2, and which is why they landed together in this lower bracket round 2. Yep. Loser goes home already. That would be pretty brutal, wouldn't it, considering you come all the way out to Vegas only to lose in round two. And yeah, But it happens at the end of the day. This is a really crazy stacked tournament, and honestly, going, running into Bogus that early on is pretty unlucky. Bogus is ridiculous, and we're going to be seeing yet more of his TVZ action in the GSL round of four when he's going to be going against Yun, which will be perhaps his biggest challenge yet. Now, Bailing Nest going down for both sides at around equal time. At the moment, you'll notice there's a slight edge for Vibe in terms of his metabolic boost speed, but probably not enough to exploit as of yet. That's right. So pretty identical builds. This is the super standard build here. Um, what you'll see next is both players most likely just going up to layer as they reach roughly 100 gas. Yep. Uh, you can obviously delay layer a little bit if you want to get more banelings out. You can get a normal layer timing if you don't. So depending on how many risks they want to take, we'll start to see the layer come down very shortly. We do notice that Lovesick has thrown down a spine crawler, so he is playing a little bit more um, defensive here with that spine crawl, making sure he is safe. But both of them are building a handful of links as speed is done, which means they will start to move across the map to feel their opponent out to scout out. And there is uh, Vibes layer. And I'm sure Love Six to follow, but right now he's got a lot of lings on the way. A lot. Yeah, we're going to get an engagement over here in the center by the looks of it. So, Speedling versus Speedling, which Vibe gets the initial advantage on because he gets that good damage. And he's going to get this around and pick that up and get out of there with a couple of extra lings than his opponent. We've got defensive banelings coming down here from Love Six, prepared for this attack. But Vibe's actually not really sending all that much up the main side. He's got a few more here and there. A little bit of an engagement as Vibe gets uh, splashed with that initial baneling. Picks off about four or five different lings in the process. Mm. Then another big engagement right here, and that's one Vibe will easily. Win. Yeah, and right now Lovesick's throwing a lot of money into just slings, and if Vibe continues to hold like he's doing, he will have a lay, he'll have extra gases, but can he continue to hold? A lot of units are being made. Ooh, and as you can see right here, Lovesick's not going to get those banelings out in time, and that was not a great splash there at all. Second one is nice here for Lovesick, but 
most of these, in fact, there's just one Baneling gets out of there, and that's going to be picked off very easily. So, Vibe with a good engagement up to this point. There's the attempted run by, and Lovesick all the way into the main. Yeah, he's into the main, and that Queen's going to go down immediately oh, yeah. with two Banelings being morphed on the side to hit the drones, and well, the layer is exposed, and everything could fall here for Vibe, depending on how these Banelings hit. Yes, it very well could. Vibe now just trying to chase away a few units here. The Banelings up to the side, already been spotted here, but oh, one goes up, takes two, and that will be the last one being taken down before it gets to the mineral line. So not too shabby there. And in the meantime, Vibe with a couple of Banelings now moving out as well. So this layer timing here for Vibe, since he's managed to hold, he's just randomly know, ignoring right? those Banelings. Like, yeah, you got Banelings. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. He's actually has a spine crawler, so there's no real chance of that getting past there. But Vibe is in a great position now because he's got this Spire on the way. His layer timing was way, way earlier than Love Six. And this third base here, probably not going to go down, I would think, for Lubsick. Although he's going to try and save it. He may be able to do so, but with his Bane oh, Link coming Bane in. Links. Oh, got to be so careful. Oh, that was a decent hit. And there's another one coming too. If he can hit these Bane Links, he could bring down that third. He very well uh, could. Not anymore. Uh, he, uh, yeah, you're right. It's, it just seems unlikely to happen. He could crash straight into it, but it wouldn't really help all of that much. There's another Bane Link detonation going off, and uh, he's still got a shot at it, especially if he gets a good connection there, which he does, but no, there's not enough damage coming in, I feel, on that, as they say, is that, and would have been nice to pick off the mm. third, but now we're going to see some tech differentiation here, because we've got the Roaches on the way with the plus one for Lovesick, whereas the Spire is in the background here. Gas count for Vibe is really high yeah, here. Yeah, it's a lot of Mutalist straight off the bat yeah. so um, even though the you know we saw Lovesick have a faster third base and this game and this matchup it doesn't matter because it's not like you need all those extra mineral fields you need gas so at this stage those seven nine mutilists can actually bring down the third of Lovesick very easily but as we can see Vibe has to worry about his own yeah, he's got to be a little bit concerned, I think. He should be able to clean this up and just send a couple more links in there. There's not really a huge amount of damage coming out from that. Nine Mutalisks on the way as well. They'd be able to get in there in time and pick that up, but I'm sure that he would prefer not to reveal that tech until absolutely necessary. And, well, never mind. He would actually love to reveal that tech right now and say, hey, look what I've got. These are wonderful. Yep, and already a tech switch available as yep. he has the infestation pit down. But with these Mutalisks, he definitely wants to start doing damage before the infestors come out, before the queens get too many. And he's going to get in there to see uh, how much he can do and what he can accomplish. Yeah, we've got an attempted little run by here on the third base from Lovesick. But in the meantime, the Mutas are on the way across. And he's in the main, seeing what he can get. Should be able to get an Overlord here without too much of a problem. That Queen is certainly under threat. He could grab it before the Spore went up if he wanted to risk it. In the meantime, now going to the Natural. There's already two Queens there to meet it. And willing to commit to damage here, I think, just because he's thinking about tech switching out. I mean, that's a lot of Mutalists lost here for not a huge amount of gain. 11 workers killed here by Lovesick, where was only eight killed by Vibe up to this point. Yeah, I mean, he knows that the Infestors are about to pop out, so as soon as the Infestors come, the Mutalists are over, so he just yeah. wanted to lose a couple, do as much damage as possible here. As a couple of links do try to do something, not going to accomplish much as nope. they do get pushed away. And to be honest, uh, Love Six position is pretty good here. It's With not the Infestors bad. Yeah. down already, he's got creep connected to the third, he's got a third base down faster, he's got uh, the gases faster as well, so. Not looking too bad. No, you can't really complain if you happen to be in Love Six position right now. There's a big swell of drones there for Vibes. Going to add another six as well here. But this plus two is now on the way. The Infestor count is starting to build. So we're going to be seeing Roach Infestor v Roach Infestor, which is kind of the classic mid game composition. It's very efficient. It's really all about who gets the best fungals and who gets the best concave. If you happen to be on the outside of the concave where you're able to bring in the most firepower, then usually you'll win that engagement. But it all comes down to positioning, so we'll see how that goes on. There are still a reasonable number of mutas on the map. There are seven. That third base actually could... Mm, yeah, I mean, they, they could kill that third base if they came in from the top and picked off the spore crawler. Probably not without losing a muta, but it is doable. He's still just patrolling around the map, seeing what he can see. Got an Overseer now moving in, and Love Six spots what's going on. Yeah, he does. The What I'm looking at is the lack of upgrades. Vibe only just now finishing up with his double evolution chamber. Yeah. Really, really far behind. Compared to a plus two that's on its way. By the time that plus two is done, um, we're going to see Vibe still at zero, zero. So any kind of timing uh, assault from Lovesick, which I think he's building towards right now, is going to be so big. So he definitely just wants to hit Roach Infestor, plus two, lots and lots and lots of stuff. Uh, get in there before any upgrades are done from the Mutalist player. And it could work out really well. But look at that. Vibe's got Buried Infestors. He does. There are spores, though, on that third base, if I remember correctly. There so are. Yeah, there's two spores on the third base. So this may not work out so well. He might be able to toss a few Infestor Terrans in there. Maybe pop up and get a Fungal. There's actually no real defense there other than that Queen. So that's always a possibility here. Oh, he's going to backstab with Infested Terrans. Yeah. I can when, um, when we see Lovesick move out for his timing, yeah. Vibe's going to kill his third. 
So Lovesick has to kill Vibe really here if that's how this is going to shape up. But I think he can with a plus two timing against zero zero. It's a massive difference. It and really three is. Three queens too. Yeah, he's really adding in a lot into this mixture here. Gives him that AA, gives him those transfers. Vibe's going in with his three investors. Yeah, you can see them coming in right there. We'll try and keep an eye on those. The engagement comes in on Vibe's fourth base at the front, which is not going to go up. There's no question. That's going to be cancelled. There's the infested Terrans on a lot of them as well. That's easily enough, I think, to obliterate either the drone line or the hatchery. Maybe both. Down goes the fourth here. And the push continues to Vibe's third base. Does he have the units to counter this? Saying the infested count is really, really good here. And as is a roach count, honestly, is huge numbers and here we go the engagement comes in and a lot of infested terrans go down huge fungals on the roach line of vibe who's not really able to respond as well as i would have hoped there's just still a huge number of investors left here roach count currently at 31 versus 15 so that's an overwhelming force here for lovesick who pushes right into vibe's third and that's pretty much dead in the meantime of course vibe has killed off the third of lovesick as well and vibe is continuing to hold if he holds this he has a better economy but this plus two is so big for lovesick right now one one is not done so close but so far for vibe here but he is holding on if he continues to hold on Vibe is going to be in really, really good oh, shape. Oh, I like this so flank. many more units coming. This flank is looking good, and then 1-1 just kicked in, and Vibe might very well have enough to push this back. If he saves his third, that will be absolutely fantastic. In the meantime, we've got yet more Bowen Infester action, forcing another cancel on the third base here. Vibe is looking to actually hold on to this, and as a result of 1-1, this has evened out quite significantly. Vibe with excellent Roach Micro here to reposition his concave, getting the weak Roaches out of the composition, but there's still a lot of firepower bearing down on him, and honestly, these roaches are not injured, whereas Vibes are. So Focus Fire now coming down here on Vibes' third, and that hatchery is looking to fall very shortly. Yeah, there's roaches in between the natural and third as well here for Love Six. So it looks like he's, he overpowered his opponent, who couldn't quite defend. He almost did very, very close, but 50 supply difference. It's a lot of roaches. There's a good 25 roach difference between these two players, depending on the drone count, of course. So it is 20 drones, uh, 20 roaches exactly different. So. Quite a big count there for Lovesick, who's pounding down the front door now. Pretty significant as far as I'm concerned, absolutely. And this is going to be so hard to buy Vibe to hold in. The Roach runs at the front. If that gets killed, then he's not even going to be able to build anything. And Vibe looking to get that concave on the side. And he does pretty well to knock that off. I mean, if he can hold this, this will be great. And that's a nice sandwich maneuver right here from Vibe. He might just have enough. He needs that one last Roach at the back to actually be contributing to this fight. And it's not happening now. But it looks like he's going to push him away. And a successful defense there by Vibe. But it was a costly one. There's no real question about that. The fourth base is coming up here for Lovesick. And he's looking to secure this third as well. It was denied over and over and over again. That spore crawler's actually going to die. It's going to bleed out there. There it goes. Pop. And we do have those Bowen Infestors actually going in again to try and see what they can do. But Vibe is looking to stabilize here. The supply gap is not as big as it once was. And the Infestor count is not... I mean, it's not amazing right here for Vibe, but it's decent. My concern really is the drone count. There's a huge difference. Yeah, but right now, Lovesick has way too many units. And Vibe's just walking off the plank here. He's been kicked off, he's been shoved off, and now he's in the ocean and he's drowning. Yes, he is. He's Unfortunately, got no, no he units. No, he was not taught to swim. And those infestors did a huge amount of damage there to those clump of roaches. And that is devastating. GG, ladies and gentlemen. And the first game in this particular series ends up going to Lovesick. Indeed it does. So, uh, pretty good game there. Back and forth. Uh, not too bad, to be honest. But Lovesick picks up map 